Welcome back to Startup Street. Generative AI has the potential to revolutionize the edtech industry. However, it also has its limitations. My colleague Aisharya Anand explores the pros and cons of AI as a tool in the education space. Take a look. The promise of AI has been brewing for a while, but the space has been buzzing since the launch of OpenAI's ChatGPT3 and the first iteration of GPT-4. One sector that has been keenly interested in the rise of AI is edtech. From grading to customer support, innovative assessment methods and content creation, higher education and upskilling startups are working with OpenAI's ChatGPT and GPT-4 to improve their offerings. Global e-learning platform Coursera is integrating ChatGPT into its courses offered on the platform like Python, user experience design, JavaScript, among others. It currently operates two ChatGPT-powered tools, Coursera Coach and AI-assisted course building. Now, if you want to have competitive products in the market, you also need to leverage this AI. So, which means that you've got to teach these skills to those in your organization. So that's how we're kind of building this experience with AI Coach, Coursera Coach, to kind of help you not only learn more effectively, individualize to yourself, but also become you know, more efficient in a certain skill. The other example is the product that we launched, which we call as Course Builder internally or AI-assisted course um, uh, authoring experience. It will very quickly help anybody to kind of very quickly mix and match and create their own course Another big edtech player in India, An Academy, has launched an AI editor that enables users to create content called Cohesive. Cohesive AI aims to make content creation more accessible to anyone who writes, from personal writing needs to professional creators, marketeers, customer support, sales team and more. We have almost uh, close to 50,000 uh, users right now which have signed up and are using it regularly. Uh, but over almost, I think, close to 100,000 users have actually visited uh, the platform and tried out the platform. We basically charge around $9 uh, per month uh, per user pricing. If you go for the yearly plan, it's basically $9 per month, which adds up to $108. Uh, if you go with the monthly plan, it's $11 per month. Use cases of AI are going to be there in almost every industry. Uh, education is going to be specifically uh, sort of affected as well as like will be impacted by AI the most. Uh, one example of uh, this could be like creating, for example, curriculum through uh, AI. So what we are doing, we are sort of experimenting with right now is can we augment, uh, can we make educators more productive by giving them tools? In Graphy, we are sort of building tools around like AI uh, Basically, you can learn anything with AI. So we are almost building like an educational chatbot uh, at next level, which is basically our job recruitment uh, platform. We are building an AI interview layer. The fear of mass displacement of workers due to AI is quite palpable across industries. Goldman Sachs in March published a report showing that AI could replace 300 million full-time jobs. Another report by Bloomberg News highlighted that if ChatGPT's technology replaces software engineers, India's 5 million coders will reckon with an AI job apocalypse. I believe uh, jobs will be affected, uh, but that's almost like, you know, saying like when typewriter, uh, typewriters became uh, stale because a uh, digital word processor had come up, uh, like we are already seeing completely new sort of genre of uh, jobs which are basically only possible in AI first world, which were never possible before. Like one example of that is prompt engineering, for example. Uh, another is like AI artist. Almost 61% of people uh, will have to reskill over the course of the next three years or four years uh, by 2027. And two million more new job roles, uh, technology job roles are going to be added in the, at the same time. That a lot of impact will be done through AI. And it can be done that there is a specific around 40% to 35% that can be generated if using AI because it reduces the cost of operation and improves the quality of In terms of negative impact, I don't believe as personally that there is a negative impact of AI. AI will help you with a monotonous, linear complexity. It's not going to help you solve complex coding problems. According to Niti Aayog, AI technology can contribute up to $1 trillion to the Indian economy by 2035 by automating and streamlining routine activities in every industry. 
Now, if you talk about edtech specifically, a research by Markets and Markets suggests that the global market for AI in the education sector is predicted to reach $3.68 billion by 2023. However, the concern still remains over AI. Global edtech firm Chegg signaled the rising popularity of ChatGPT was pressuring its subscriber growth and prompted it to suspend its full-year outlook, sending shares of the company 47% lower. With camera person Balbir Singh, Ishwari Anand for CNBC TV 18. Set up in